Kimchia, which is a Mediterranean dish, um, I believe Greek, Turkish and Egyptian cuisine. Um, it is basically pasta, minced meat, bechamel sauce cooked in the oven, and no, it is not a lasagna. So the first thing you need to make sure that you get it is the pasta, which, as you can see, they are long tubes, quite fat. Um, now, every household that cooks this will probably cook it in different ways. So different minced meat, different pastas, um, they might add something new into it or something different. Some people do it with tin tomatoes, I don't. So I'm going to show you how I do it, um, but you need this. So we get this from Greek delis, which we don't have around here, but luckily my mum still lives um, in London and they're full of it. So you can buy these from any sort of Greek deli. I think sometimes you might even be able to find them in your local supermarkets, but not all of them. So make sure you get this. And the first thing that we need to do is boil that up because we can boil it straight away and then just leave it in your colander to to drain out and then we'll get on with the filling. So I've got my water boiling, um, one chicken stock and salt. Let it come to the boil and then just cook your pasta as per the instructions on the packet. So they're not gonna fit in your pan, but just leave them like this. Um, until the bottom soften and then once they soften you can literally just sort of push them down and they will go down. Right, for the filling you're going to need one onion, a bunch of parsley, a kilo of pork mince, salt, pepper, cinnamon and tomato puree for my one. But if you're using tin tomatoes you can put tin tomatoes in. So chop your onion up nice and small. Right, don't forget to keep an eye on your pasta because mine's now ready so I'm going to take that off and drain it. Keep your pan because you're going to need that to do your bechamel. Like a volume oil. Once that's heated, we want to put our onions in to get them soft. Right, once your onions are ready, you want to put in your minced meat to brown, break it, break it all up as well. Once your meat's browned, turn it down because you don't want to dry out the mince. And we're going to go in with our seasoning and our tomato puree. If you're using tin tomatoes, now's the time to put them in as well. Cinnamon. Now, I don't like it too cinnamony, so I don't put a lot in, but there are people that put a lot more than what I'm about to do, so it's down to your own taste, really. When you're putting your salt and pepper in, don't be afraid to put the salt in because it is going to cook in the oven as well, so it will cook down. Once all that's mixed in, turn off the heat because you don't want it cooking anymore, and then you need to put in your chopped parsley. You can obviously chop it beforehand, just push, put it in, but I just use my kitchen scissors and chop it over the top. Now you just want to mix it all in and set it aside because now we need to prepare our bechamel. Right, 
Now it's bechamel time. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hate doing this because I just feel like it takes forever. And if my heat's on too high, I end up burning the bottom and it sticks. And I just feel like I'm standing over the hob for like 20 minutes. But what we need for this is butter, olive oil, two eggs, chicken stock, self-raising flour, milk. Um, I think that's it. So we'll start that now. So we're dropping in our butter and olive oil. Now my method on the olive oil is literally I go until the bottom is reasonably covered, but not too much, but it should cover the bottom. Now let that cook slowly, keep stirring your butter, and as soon as it's all melted, we'll move on to the next bit. Right, once the butter's all melted, you wanna go in with your flour, self-raising flour. Um, you wanna be kind of quick doing this bit because once it's in, you wanna mix it up quickly and sort of get that roux rather than um, end up going all lumpy. Nobody likes a lumpy bechamel. Right, once you get to a nice smooth liquidy consistency, you can just go in with the rest of your milk. You can turn the heat up to sort of a medium heat, not too high because it will catch on the bottom. Um, continuously stir or whisk. Um, you, if you leave it and sort of venture away, you probably will end up with lumps. So keep an eye on it. And we want to achieve a thickish consistency if it's too runny once you put it on top of your your meat and your pasta it will just seep through if it's too thick then it's not very nice you just want to sort of get that in the middle consistency i'll show you once it's done once all your milk's in and it's sort of warmed through put in two eggs um, chicken stock cube, a bit of salt and pepper, season it up again, um, and then that's when we're going to just sit and wait until it's ready. Now everything's ready, we've got a nice big pan and deep. We've got our pasta that's ready, we've got our bechamel that's ready, we've got our mince that's ready. And I've also got some grated halloumi. Now people put the halloumi either in the bechamel um, and stir it up or on top, but I just find that when I do that, um, it sort of burns a top where the halloumi is sort of sticking on, out on top. So I put it in just below my bechamel, so I'll show you in a minute. Now I always, because the pasta's been cooked for a while and it's been sitting there and sort of got a little bit stuck together, I always put a nice big spoon of the bechamel through it. Now, bottom layer your pasta, go in with three quarters worth of it. And just throw it in for a minute, all that you need. You just wanna sort of spread it around, make sure that there's pasta covering the bottom. And then after is our mince meat. Get your hands dirty. It's cool now. So just pour it all in. And spread it around. 
make sure you get in the corners. Now top that with the rest of your pasta. Now this is where I now put my Halloween. And now top with your bechamel. Make sure it goes everywhere. And that is it, it's all done. Now you can cook it straight away. Um, I, I tend to cook it at about 160 for about 45 minutes to an hour. Just keep an eye on it, once it gets a nice color on top, take it out. Um, if you don't wanna cook it straight away, just let it sit in the oven and when you're ready to cook it, you can cook it. Um, it is equally as nice cold as it is warm. So if you do wanna cook it now, get it over and done with and then when you're ready to eat later, just cut it up and, and eat it. Um, once it's cooking, I will show you what it looks like. Right guys, so it's out of the oven. I'll show you, then I'm gonna portion it up. Right guys, so I've portioned it all up. Here it is. Now Ricardo really likes this. So I've put the camera over here because we're gonna play a little trick on him. When I call him in and tell them that dinner's ready, he's gonna come in. And I have set up a spare plate that's made a bit of a mess. And, um, well, sorry, that I've made a bit of a mess on um, for Nicola. He doesn't like pasta Nicola, he won't eat it. But I'm gonna tell him that I'm gonna try him with it. And then um, I'm gonna tell him there's a hair and get him to have a look at it and shove his face in it. Hold on.